What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. Today we're discussing some big news coming directly from Apple. They are about to allow iOS sideloading for apps in Europe at least. And that's quite big because that would be the very first time Apple allows that. But there's a lot of nuance to it. So we're going to discuss about that and we're going to discuss why that may not be the best news ever. And I will try to make it very clear why I believe that is. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Check the program out in the link below. So a couple of months ago, people started to learn about the fact that Apple is indeed planning to allow sideloading of iOS applications, starting with iOS 17. Well, iOS 17 came and there was nothing in sight about sideloading and it's iOS 17.1 or almost 0.2 by now and there is no such feature, not even in Europe. Well, it turns out that Apple is indeed planning to do that for the European users in the first half of 2024. That would be early next year. That in itself is actually quite big and as this article here on Mac Rumors makes it, it's actually quite big. It's a big event. You would be able to install iOS applications from any sources, third-party app stores, would be able to pop out out of the blue and you would have more choices than getting the application from the normal traditional app store and maybe developers can dodge Apple's fees and stuff like that. Well that sounds all great on paper until you realize that Apple does this because they are forced to do this. The European Union ruling says that they have to open app, they have to allow third-party app stores to exist, they have to allow applications to be installed from third-party sources because otherwise Apple would be a monopoly and they are not allowed to do that, at least not in Europe. Many of these websites make it look like the best thing since sliced bread. And it might be for some users, you might be able to get some great advantages from it. But what people do not realize is that while this is true, sideloading does come to iOS in 2024, Apple can implement this in the worst way possible because they are forced to do it. They don't do it from the kindness of their heart. They want to maintain their own app store. They want to maintain it to be the only app store on iOS. They can't do that in Europe anymore. They are forced to actually allow third-party app stores, but they can do this in the worst way possible. They can actually make it that many of the APIs are blocked for third-party app stores. Imagine here, for example, Apple Pay, or imagine here notifications. And yeah, they are allowed to do that. The European Union ruling does not actually force Apple to allow any of these APIs to work for the third-party app stores and apps. And that actually makes sense. If you think about it, notifications that are sent from especially social media apps and stuff and games, those require a server. Apple usually provides that for notifications. So applications made with Xcode and uploaded to the App Store normally, they actually can use Apple's infrastructure for sending notifications, accepting payments, for in-app purchases and stuff like that. Apple is not actually forced by the European Union to provide those services to third-party app stores or apps. So yes, after this gets into effect, you may be able to install third-party app stores from anywhere. You may be able to do that just like you do on Android. But those applications applications may not work with notifications, they may not support in-app purchases, at least not through Apple's channels, they may not have Apple Pay support. Apple can even implement it in a way that you have to reboot the phone into an unprotected mode that disables everything else like the apps from the App Store and messages and stuff like that and only allows you to use the third-party apps because it's unsafe. They can do that. The European Union ruling does not prevent them from doing that. It just forces them to allow third-party apps, but it doesn't say how those apps should should be installed or what limitations those apps might have. And yes, Apple definitely has the right to not provide services like their notification server and Apple Pay and in-app purchases to those apps, which means those apps can definitely be much more limited. Not to mention the fact that you will no longer be protected by the App Store. So yeah, iOS sideloading is definitely coming. That's great news, but it's only coming in Europe. It will very likely be very hardly geofenced, so you will not be able to use it in the US or Asia or stuff like that and even where it is actually available, it might be very gimped, very watered down. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to see. Thank you for watching. I'm G Snow. Till the next time, peace out.